Hi everyone, I'm Kralis and welcome back to episode 4 of our City Skylines 2 playthrough. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you do, hit the like button and leave a comment down below because it does help me tremendously. So thank you, thank you and spank you. And by the way, if I sound tired today, I've been out pretty much two nights straight. Our dog, she has this like, I don't know what you call it, like fainted pregnancy. Basically, she thinks she's got babies. She doesn't. She's never had and she's 15. But she's, she's just up all night, just crying, screeching, moaning, barking. Like we are trying to keep her distracted and calm her down, but it's nearly impossible. So if I do sound tired, I'm sorry. And I tried to do this recording yesterday, but it was like... I was like, nah, that's not going to be an episode. However, I've made some bendy shapes for the bendy people. And even though this might not be super realistic, I, look at this. Look at this curvature and bend. It is here to stay. So yeah, last episode we ended on playing around with trains. So I've moved the rail yard over here and even though this is like bends, I'm not a big fan of them. Might look realistic, but not in my town. I did buy three tiles. There's those three and I tweaked them a little bit, but one day we're going to be owning this land and we can tweak as much as we want. So yeah, so trains come in over here. They go all the way through the rail yard. They loop around here and kind of a fork out going to the other uh, city connection. And then they can go underneath here and then continue over here and all the way to the train station, which has been relocated uh, as well as the bus station, which is over here. Like this might not be perfect. Okay. But so far, this has been working quite nicely. Like there's bus lanes. One-way streets, buses come in, buses go out, there's no congestions or whatsoever. Okay, this might not be perfect, but hey, there's so many streets. We will tweak them eventually, right? But yeah, so we do have the rail system over here. And there's something special about having those elevated ones. I was debating, like, should we keep them? Should we remove them? But I don't know. I kind of I kinda like them. Especially having them, like, in the, in the downtown area, having, like, buildings and then trains passing in between those. I think that is the way to go. I have also tweaked the bus line since we did relocate the bus station and let me see if I can show you how it looks now. So we have uh, we have three lines, two of them go both ways, like one goes uh, one one way, like this way, and one goes that way. But pretty much the same stops, but just opposite side of the streets. I'm not sure that is how you do it, but it is what it is, okay? So we have, we have one here in the whole industrial area, we have one in the top the part over here, in the north part, and then we have one which goes all the way through the middle over here. And they do meet up here in our beautiful bus station, which maybe is not the most beautiful bus station we've seen. It looks a little bit bare, so obviously we need bushes and trees all the way around to make it pretty. I also did add like those little like bridges and paths for the pedestrians all over the place. Not sure they're going to be used or not, but, but hopefully one day or eventually they will. Is anybody using this over here? Yeah, look at this. But as I said before, like the more stuff like this we add, the better our traffic becomes in the city. That's what I'm hoping at least. So let's see what is on the agenda today. We have a situation. What is this? Noch, noch vehicles? Okay, so that is, that is not great. It's our buses. 25 out of 25. So I guess this will require an upgrade. Okay, let's wait with that. And also, there's always somebody which is complaining about no hearses. I mean, it's not a taxi. You're you're dead. You can just wait. It's not like it's not, not like you're in a rush or anything, right? But how about this? Vehicles in use four or fifteen. So I guess getting one of those like burning dead people facilities, crematorium, Corrales. That is one. Should we unlock this while we add it? Please do. There's one more thing I want to unlock. There's intersections, just in case. Just in case. Okay, we still have a little bit of points. So let's just unlock that as well. Anything else which we would require? How about a college? Yes, Kerala, let's do it because education is key to success. Then we do have the trams. Maybe an airport or ferries. How about no? This is supposed to be a long series, not like a one episode showcase of the game, right? So we have plenty of time to unlock everything. But the main idea is, for the upcoming episodes, is to get rid of this whole industrial sector. Because, like, being so close to downtown, I don't think that is the, the way to go. Like, obviously, when we're starting out, we don't have the finances to buy tiles and such. So this kind of made perfect sense in the beginning. But now, four episodes in... It doesn't. The downside is that this has caused quite a bit of ground pollution for us. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a headache because I don't think anybody will, wants to live here anymore. Uh, and let's see here. How does this even... So ground pollution starts to dissipate after the source is removed, but it takes a long time for it to disappear entirely. 
So the sooner we do it, the better it will be for us in the long run. And if we check the natural resources, <laughs> it's kind of perfect zone for oil. But no, 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 let's not be greedy about that. I'm thinking like this. We do have the wind which blows this way, like perfectly this way, right? So maybe we could have done is to make use of a little bit of this ore deposit over here, combining like industrial and ore deposits. And then maybe even over here. Because this is kind of like, this is kind of close. Can just get, like, I mean, look at this road. We've already got this road going all the way across over here. So we can make tons of oil, make tons of cash, because cash and finances, I mean, we are in the green, but not for long, I guess. So let, let's start doing that. Uh, but first, we need to take care of the buses and the crematorium and a bunch of other stuff, I guess. So let's do that. And hmm, you know what we could do? Maybe. Don't do it, girl. Let's do it. <laughs> By the way, this is a road going underneath the whole thingy. Because, because I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just like, ooh, that would be kind of cool having that going all the way through. And now I'm like. Yeah, how about maybe not? And then now I'm just looking at this and it's kind of like a little bit misplaced and crooked. There's definitely something wrong with my brain. But I don't know what it is, but I just I just can't have it like that. One day we're going to replace this. But let's just landscape this a little bit. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Grab an elevation. And this won't be perfect. This won't be perfect. But once we get all the tiles, we can just smoothen this out. Yeah, it's not great, but for the moment I can live with that. Let's just extend this road a little bit as well. And that was... Oh, by the way, let me take a peek at the intersections. Um, What do we have to our disposal? We have the trumpet one, which is... Is that the trumpet one? That is the trumpet one, okay. Then we have the trumpet roundabout. Hmm. And does it say... Let me see here. Connection to a local road. A freeway highway junction. T intersection. Ooh, that's big. Ooh, that guy looks funky. So they are a little bit like, I remember like from CS1, everything was super oversized and the, the sooner we place them in the city, the better. Otherwise, it's going to be tons of deleting later on down the road. So we'll see. Maybe we can squeeze in one in today's episode. <gasps> okay, so that is what? Stack interchange. So it can handle a large amount of traffic, but space-wise, it's pretty much as big as my whole city. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's just wait with that. Um, so yeah, so now when we have this over here, we can pretty much move every single like facility when it comes to like road maintenance and vehicles like the buses, the taxi, this over here, maybe even... I don't think I've put that down yet. The park maintenance depot can also be placed over there. Like so, and as I said, let's just extend the road just a titty, titty, titty bit. ASMR, road building with Kerohalis in City Skylines 2. Welcome, everybody. So this is back here. Let's add one of those extra garages as well. Maybe just here, and then electric buses. Okay, this would be kind of cool, but it has an upkeep, and uh, no. One day, we will be able to afford that. Uh, today is not the day. Let's grab the taxi depot. And I also think I need to replace the taxi depot over the train station because I removed the old one and built a new one. So I don't think I've placed that back yet. So let's just poop that down over here and let's go over here and check it out. We also need to add the train lines. Have I? Nope. Taxi stop will be added here and maybe the shop is as well. Because, yeah, why not? Shall we? Let's do that. I mean, it's not bad. It might not be perfect, but it's definitely not bad. There's tons of stuff happening. And I'm thinking like, are the European themed ones different? Or is there just one train station to rule them all? There's a lot of details on it, okay? Move away, Kuralis, because you're going to be spending the whole episode just looking at the train station. I mean, it's kind of beautiful now, isn't it? Oh, yes. Before we leave, let's do this. Uh, transportation, twins, and let's add. So let's maybe pick this one over here and go all the way here to the distance. Grab that over here and loop it back on all the way to this guy over here. Perfect. And I'm thinking, like, do they really just spawn outside the whole building? Because then I don't know what the point of the doors and this this whole thing is. Well, it looks beautiful. They do. Why do they do that? Why don't they come out from this building? It would be such a cool thing to have, like, a depot and then they're just rolling out. Because what is the... Hmm. I guess this is just for decoration, all the... The bits and bobs over here. 
Okay, I'm not judging. You guys are judging, okay? Um, and let's see here. So those guys are rolling out. They will come in over here. Hopefully, let's see. Do they? Ew, baby, they do. I don't think there's going to be anybody waiting as of now. Okay, this looks so much better than the, than the last one we had in the last episode. It's the same train station, girls. Well, it is the same train station, but it looks much better over here. Man, I like trains. And everything here seems to be working as intended. Buses coming in, people jumping off, going to the train station, taxis picking up folks. That is perfect. And let's see here. If I would add another train track going out of way, which platform, I guess, it doesn't really matter. Because all three are connected. So we go all the way over here. Okay, to fix that. Let's just get some train tracks going. Boom. Let's just get this. And let's make him. Nope. But like this. Perfect. Done it. And this will obviously be, be tweaked. Like everything else in the city. Because uh, it's going to be perfect. Okay. Because I don't know. I don't even have OCD. But there is something within me which just screams like. Girls, you can't bend it like that. It can't be crooked like this. However, this will work. This is for testing purposes. So let's see if we would go back over here. Oh, by the way, have you guys seen? All the trees and bushes are all green and pretty again. Oh, wow. This is such a difference. I'm wondering if we can disable like that the winter and autumn trees. Spring? I can live with the spring trees. They can take the rain as well, because that sucks. Tons of lag spikes with that. But this looks so much better. Like even, like even the even the, the dull cemetery. Huh. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Train lines. Uh, so let's go over here. And from this, we're going to go uh, maybe the first one over here. Okay, this is something I wish... I, I know there was a mod in CS1, which kind of changed colors by default on each track you did or each line. It, it doesn't do it here. So we're going to click and change the color and, and click uh, and so on and so on. So let's go from this all the way to the far end like that. I'm not sure this is going to work. Hopefully the train track is connected as it should. Let's see, do they spawn over here? I'm not sure why I'm hiding the HUD all the time. I know, it just looks much better without it. Doors! I, I I take this, I take this. But it would look much cooler if they kind of came out from that. And by the way, that has upgrades as well, right? So we could add the extra train tracks. Okay, so now we have the possibility to have 10 trains. So I guess each of them adds 5. So there would be 15 in total. Like I'm not going to do that because upkeep costs. And then dedicate factors to make train maintenance faster. And be beautiful building, beautiful building. I can't say anything about that. Just wish the doors opened and the trains was rolling out that way instead, but hey. There's so many skyscrapers as well. Okay, so I guess it seems to be working. We'll see if that can boost the, the income. Great town. Okay, so what did we get? What did we get? We got the high density businesses. Loans, I don't care about now. But this over here. And 2.2 million, of course, and more points and such. Okay, we needed that. I'm going to check that out ASAP. But first is first. So let's see over here. So we added the taxi thingy. Let's add. Let's add one and two of those. I mean, we need taxis, right? And then we're going to do the dispatch center, which allows to pick up passengers from all over the city, not just the dedicated taxi stands. So shall we? Yes, please. And then should we go green? Electric taxis? Well, not in my city because everything comes from coal power. But hey, let's pretend. There it is. The first electric taxi rolling out. You can even hear like the little, little like electric engine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy there, champ. You can hear like the little electric engine whining. Okay, so those have been added. What else was the, the road maintenance building, right? So let's move that as well. Last but not least, the park maintenance depot. Houses a maintenance office and a garage for vehicles. Well-maintained parks provide the most leisure benefit to visitors. Can be upgraded with an extra garage and a supply storage. Let's add one of those. I, th I think we're good with the garages, but this is all for the bushes. It's all for the bushes. And if people are happy with the bushes, they will pay more taxes and I will become a much richer mayor. Look at those guys. That's a bus lane. Man, people with motorbikes. 
or motorcycles. What is this guy in the smart car? Didn't you just read the sign? Didn't you get the memo? Taxi and bus only. Or maybe it doesn't work like that. No, look at that. It changed lane now. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how the city makes money. With parking lots, left and right. And I know somebody suggested that we should maybe just create a district over here. Um, we did change quite a bit of the roads to non-parking roads, but... Hey, how do you do this? You just drag and drop, right? So if I would go... You know what? Testing purposes. Let's go here, all the way to the far end. It goes over here. Maybe to about here. I guess we could add that as well into the district. No, 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 no. Let's take that back and let's go in here. And bam. So that is our first district. And then if we would go into the district policy, we could. If wanted, that is. Roadside parking fee. The downside is I think I've removed pretty much every single road uh, parking road possible over here. But then again, we can just add them. Because the traffic, like, traffic-wise is not bad over here. No, I don't want to look at the traffic, but I don't think it's bad. I guess it could be better. I mean, this is kind of a self-explanatory because there's parking a lot over here. So I guess this place over here would be pretty red. Any house. This over here. Ooh, there we go. Look at are, they, are they paying now? Hopefully they are. But we're losing money, girls. That's not terrible now, is it? Okay, so what is up next? Uh, any dead people? Do we see any dead people? Not. There's not many people complaining. Like those things are flashing about over here. Oh, just an accident. That is just pre pretty much just dead end roads. Other than that, it's one high rent, high rent, high rent, no pedestrian access. What, what is this then? Pedestrian path connected to the rivers. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get out and somebody else isn't going to move in. Because I am the captain. Or I am the mayor now. Oh, yes. So the crematorium next to the cemetery. Yes, sir. Additional incinerator. But what can we, can we, what can we just use the industry one? I don't understand it. A, a horse garage. And refrigerator expansion. So let's see here. So that garage is... Okay, that's going to that thingy, Majiki. That is an outside building. Right. And this over here. The refrigerator. Okay, that is inside as well. So we would need to get this guy over here. How much is that? Don't do it now, Kiralis. 10k a month. I am... I am a good person, okay? I'm gonna do this. I'm even gonna buy them a refrigerator. There we go. And what comes for the cemetery? Let's expand upon that as well, maybe. Ooh, the temple. Columbarium. And a mausoleum. Oh, that's got a nice squeeze over here. Too big, too big. Okay, can't do that. So let's maybe do the mausoleum in the back. And maybe the temple on the side. That kind of looks really cool. And we can have a beautiful park somewhere about this as well. Many trees and bushes. Okay, this is quite fancy. Okay, I love when everything is just green and pretty over here. A beautiful mausoleum as well. Okay. And why does it go like this? I hate it so much. Like, look at it. And then you kind of zoom out. Everything comes back in. Like, I'm not hating, but it shouldn't be like this. And then you zoom in and everything is perfect for a brief moments. But, one thing I want to do is focus a little bit on education. Because people have been telling me, Kiralis, this is really crucial. Like, for example, college people, we have 5.3k eligible. We need to catch them before they turn criminal or whatever they're going to turn. Um... Let me see the coverage on this. So we would need... Can I get an elementary school here as well, somewhere about? The thing is, I don't really want to use the space for this because there's a beautiful skyscraper. Doesn't matter. They can build a new one, right? So let's just zone out a new zone for that. Oh yes, that is something I want to do as well. Okay, before we do the, the school education, I want to try out some of the new unlocked um, high-density commercial buildings. Did they have this back in the day? Service buildings can be assigned to city districts. When assigned, the building will function as the local service for the assigned districts. Oh, that is not shabby because now this school will be just focused on this district over here, like the downtown area. And it looks perfect. <laughs> so misplaced. <laughs> but don't worry, we can squeeze in like a college here somewhere about as well. 
And we have new commercial buildings. I mean, what is that? Looks like a hotel of some type or whatever it is. I mean, they kind of look cool. There's a lot of billboards, but I, I mean, obviously it's it's a commercial district, Kerales. Or commercial buildings. Oh, by the way, have you seen this? It's an underground garage. But, but, I'm not sure what's happening on the inside, but something is happening. So let's do, let's do a few of those. The only downside with the, these buildings is noise pollution. I guess... So quite a few of them. Let's maybe even add a little skyscraper here. Or high density. Maybe even here on this side. Not that it matters where we place them. But I kind of want to have a little bit of like a diversity. I don't want to have like those tall skyscrapers just next to each other. So I kind of want to spread them out nicely. Maybe even add in some offices here in the back. I'm not sure anybody's going to be using that. But there is a demand for office Corrales. Yeah, look at that. Low rent housing and any high density. Nah, let's just do medium density, maybe. Yes, sir. High density. And the thing about this game, as I said before, like for me, doing this is like this is the most relaxing thing I can do. Like just just playing about the zoning. But it's so hard to portray like like what you guys would maybe want to see. Like, like, is this boring? Maybe it is boring. Maybe it's like super boring just watching this. Nah, you know what? That should be. That should maybe be medium. Get some medium here. Oh, no, you know what? This should be maybe like low rent. But then again, will that bring down the land value? I think it will. There we go. Maybe some more offices over here. And over here. Perfect. And then we're going to have like parks and such in the, in the rest of the area. But it's happening, people. The city of Keralesville is growing. It's thriving. It's not the biggest city after four episodes, but but it is what it is. I did also add this school. Maybe we should get some upgrades on this guy. We ha don't have any districts here as of now, but doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's do... I mean, the playground is going to be a little bit tricky to squeeze in, unless we demolish a lot of buildings. So let's just do a little extension, and everybody in the neighborhood is going to be happy. Because we will be expanding upon this area very soon, as soon as we move out this over here. Which kind of needs to happen. But let's wait. First is first. What I want to do here is I want to add a little bit of paths for the people to use in between the buildings. I'm not sure I can squeeze that in, can I? Oh, yes, I can. Look at that. That will be going all the way to the far end. That continues all the way. Oh, that kind of looks a little bit messed up, I guess. But we can turn it over here and bring it down. Can I go underneath the... There we go. Perfect. Okay. It's a thing. Hopefully somebody's going to be using it. Would kind of make me happy. And then I guess we can have more paths over here. Like it would be going... This, here. And once again, the more stuff like this we add, the more people are going to be using it. And hopefully that's going to cause less traffic on the on the roads and streets. Maybe even the one here in the back. I'm not sure, can, is, that, is that zoned out already? I'm just wasting time. <laughs> placing paths but that's gonna be like a shortcut to the whole what you're gonna call it to the whole uh, train station area so i guess that wouldn't be bad at all oh wow oh is this the highest yet that's the same one i wish there was a little bit more variation maybe there is because i think this is like the the level one and then it's gonna be different as it progresses i sure do love spring and summer is it summer it's still spring and it just looks beautiful. This is one of the best things about the game. Like building up a city and then just zooming in. And just standing somewhere. Taking it in. And this is like a tiny city, but look how buzzing this is. So cool. We even found our hearse over here. What on earth is happening over here? There's like people left and right on top of each other with dogs. Hmm, interesting. This is outside, like I think it was the Polaris building. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys have fun, I guess. But what were we doing? Okay, we're doing the college education, right? So let's maybe. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to squeeze it in, but let's try to squeeze it in in this in this region over here. Next, just next to the elementary school. Why not? And not that they're going to be going from elementary to college straight off, unless they're like super geniuses. 
Maybe we can have a high school here as well later on. But collage. A collage is... It has room for how many people? 1,000 people. Uh, okay, it won't work until we delete this over here. So let's do that. Oh, who's this? Okay, <laughs> a rockstar mansion. Let's maybe do this. Okay, there's going to be a lot of complaints because of work and such. But this will be moved. Uh, very, very soon. Maybe not in today's episode because I'm just fluffing about all over the place. But I want to keep track of this like ground pollution because I'm very curious to see how long this will take for it to disappear. Because placing people here will be will be a no go. However, our rock star, I don't think he cares that much. He might be on tour because so far he's not complaining. Oh, yes, he is. He's complaining. So we have ground pollution over here. So I guess this is going to be a little benchmark, a little test subject. So as soon as that disappears, we should be having a green light to house people over here. Oh, uh -huh. and that's going to look so much better against our skylight than all the chimneys over here. But we didn't have a choice. We didn't have a choice in the beginning. Well, kind of. No, we didn't. But you will have to decide. Where should we place the industry? Should it be in this region over here? Or in this over here? I do like this better. Downside is we don't really have a we don't have a highway connection, so we need to build our own highway going all the way. What is this? How how did I miss this? What is that? A barn? <laughs> Go figure, Kiralas. There's tons of barns. But what is this doing over here? I did not build that. Hmm. If somebody has any knowledge on how long this takes, please let me know. We only had it for like a year here. In game, that is. So, and I do see like there's a little bit of color shift. I don't think you can see that. Over here, you can. But here, I don't think you can. Well, it's going to be interesting anyhow. So, let's go over here and let's just think about this. Uh, is this even Steven? I don't think it is. And the collage, how big was that again? Education. Collage. Well, it's not, it's, it's, it's big, it's big, but it's not like super big. So if I would have it, is that like a middle piece? <laughs> Never be the middle piece. Okay, oh no. Why did I do that? Now I need to move that and level the terrain. This will be one of the most misplaced colleges in the history of, uh, of City Skylines. But it looks like a fantastic building, it does. It does come with a little bit of upgrades. We do have the extension wing. Hello! And then we have the Collage Library. Hmm. Can we even even have two of those? Not sure that works. The library with the extended acceleration provides students with better chances of graduating. So it's less less chance of becoming an idiot, I guess. That would look kind of neat, but I don't want to waste. Like, I can look at the upkeep costs. 50k per month. So let's just level this out, level this out. Okay, this is going to suck a little bit because we need to make more keys. And this is not perfect. Oh. This is one thing which I absolutely hate about it. Like, I want to do those perfect ones, right? But it's so, so tricky. So what you do? Um, and how I did those? I pretty much just leveled this like a soul. Pretty much. Can I delete? No, let's not delete that. And then I get the road, which I want. I change this to a little bit like maybe... I'm using like 2.5 and such, but I don't think it's going to work here per se. Yeah, see, this, that's, that becomes a bridge. So we need to kind of flatten this terrain or level that terrain first to begin with. So let's maybe pick an elevation over here and then just go out like that. You might be... But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it doesn't look great at this stage. But... It doesn't cost us anything to landscape and terraform. That's not the... I don't think that's going to be the greatest shape of them all. But a shape, it will be. But not the greatest, Kiroth. No, 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 not the greatest. Like this. And then we just landscape this out again. So, it, like, it's super fiddly. It's not like a, you have a key. Did, did we have keys back in CS1? Maybe we didn't. Maybe it was like an acid or a custom thing from the workshop which we used. Or I used at least. And then make it big like that. And then we just landscape that way. And perfect. Well, it, it it is not. It is not. But this is something I can fix like off camera. I know when I get the kids in the office or the, ki well, the kids are home now because they have a holiday, right? So I can just be sitting here off camera doing stuff like that. Because 
It's wonky. But is it my wonky? Oh no. <laughs> the poop. All that poop. But now we have a shape. Uh, and I'm thinking, how is the elevation on this? So if I would select this, right click on that, I will drag that all the way to the far end. Woo! It's much higher. It is much higher. Like, I don't mind having like, an elevation going down, so don't get me wrong. I could get told to have that. See? Everything about this game just takes time i'm trying to work as quickly as i can but this might be a terrible showcase yeah i mean it's not perfect but it's getting close and then we can take that all the way across and then this over here could be a bridge star because this will be like the main street in the city this goes all the way through our first roundabout oh by the way haven't checked that today yes yeah, so look at this we fixed it together you and me. Wait, no, no, don't stop. Go, 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 go. Don't give way. <gasps> Grandpa, are you okay? Who do this? Adrian Ortega. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you. Cause you will die. Well, not, not die, die because you're a senior, but you will die. You will get run over by a car. Look at those guys. This is gonna, this is madness. Is that just because everybody's doing it? <laughs> GG walking left and right. Is that just because we deleted the cross, uh, the, in, uh, I mean, the, the zebra crossing over here? No, oh, they're doing there as well. Okay, this is something I need to focus on. Uh, not today, but we need to build like those little overpasses for people so they can walk across here instead of, of doing this. There's people with dogs here as well. Awkward commentary with Kerales. Welcome, everybody. This is episode four. <laughs> we're building roads. I'm going to add one of those libraries in the back, and then I'm going to be using the pedestrian streets in the back. Uh, not sure, I've never used them. I don't think I've used them. Like this, then we're going to turn over here. Oh, I kind of don't want to have those crossings over there. Kind of feels a little bit unnecessary having them just next to each other. Okay, that is, that's, that's perfect. That is perfect. Besides having those, I, I guess what we could do is remove them. So this is going to be gone, and this is going to be gone. Amazing. Let's maybe tennis. Yeah, why not? Let's do one, two, and maybe three. Obviously, you don't have to have tons of those guys because it doesn't really make any sense having too many of them. But I think it looks kind of cool. And then, and then, no, and then, and then we just add a little parking garage for all the, the college kids. Do they have driving license? Yeah, I think they do, right? In college. Maybe they don't. Maybe in US they do. And obviously, this is a US map, so perfect. There we go. And then just some beautiful paths, more trees all the way around. And I think I'm going to have one more library on this side. Maybe we could do it for everybody. Do it, don't do it. I'm doing it. How is this? This is something I haven't seen yet. Like, what a pretty location. Don't, don't judge this yet. It's gonna be it's gonna be much prettier when there's stuff on the other side as well. I know I know what you're thinking over here, but this is this is for the moment. You know I like those little bends all over the place, and I think they look amazing. It might not be the smartest solution when it comes to roads and such, but I, I like them. We will see what we can do. Let's just keep it for the moment. We can even have that going underneath the bridge. It's gonna be a a, a mad situation when ships arrive, I guess, but. We could have the harbor hereabouts instead. And they don't need to pass on the Dove bridges. No, no, no. The only downside here is that it looks beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. However, I mean, we have 137 people. It's just been opened. Okay, so I don't judge that. But we have, what was it? 5.9k people who wants to go in this. I mean, it can't be that we need five of these to sustain it. Or four. Because, I mean, the upkeep on this guy over here, for example, is 255k with the, with the little library and the extension to it. Yeah, that would be a little bit on the expensive side. However, it is a fantastic looking building. And I think, like, as soon as all the trees are grown up and the people have moved in over here, I think that might look really, really nice. And I kind of like those low, low rent apartments as well. I don't think, like, they look a little bit shabby on the shabby side. But they have the perfect size of them. 
So I like that. Okay. Uh, now though, let's do a little expansion job maybe over here. Uh, how's, how's the rocks are doing, by the way? We've just pooped him down over here and he's not thriving at all. He ain't thriving. Ground pollution? I think it's getting better. But I am unsure though. Yeah, let's give it an episode and we'll see. We also need to get some incinerators because as you can see that the, the pile of our uh, landfill is growing quite rapidly. And that is a lot of pollution as well and ground pollution. But there's something over here. So we will have this key going all the way around here somewhere about. The downside is the keys, they just take this just so fiddly. If anybody can have a solution to make them easier, please, please, please let me know. Because um, I like my shapes, my perfect shapes, but I just can't take them. I'm just thinking, like, is this too wide of a park? No, it's not. No, it's not. Because what we could do in the park... Okay, so let's let's pretend that this is going to be a park. Well, no, let's not pretend it's going to be a park, but it will be a park. In this park, we will have campfire sites. Is that a thing? Might have it here. Yeah. That'd be perfect. And on the other side, I like I like this. I like this little swimming pool thingy, the outdoor one. So let's maybe add one more over here. Like, let me see, where do we park? From the big street? Yes, like that. And maybe we can squeeze in a little car park in the back. Just, just, just a tiny one. Not the tiny one. Nope, that doesn't fit at all. What if you would take this and turn around like this and then? Hopefully this is going to be a thing. Yeah, okay, so that is a perfect fit. Then we get the campsite. We're going to have a beautiful path, so left and right. As long as people use them, having like a dog park here, for example, and etc. Because this could be going across like this. This could be going so people come into the park. It could be using these rows over here. That as well. And this could be going like three tiles from this. Go like I know, like maybe not like the most amazing park rows because it's very like straight and, and gritty. But it won't matter. Once the trees are in place, we won't even be able to see them. So it's going to look really nice. And then having this going here. That maybe goes down even to this. Like this goes into... Oh, can I... Oh, I guess like that. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! And then... No, and then... And then just a bunch of trees. Okay, maybe a squeeze in... What are you gonna call it? A little gym over here? Look at us! Okay, this is not bad. And then we just do bushes all over the place. I always go to this bush because I see a bush and I click on a bush, but it's not that bush. Uh, let's do a lot of oaks. So, mm, let's see here. Brush size, I think that's gonna be kind of good. And then just go all the way across here like that. Going for those happy, happy little trees. Did we do birch? I don't think we did birch. Birch is also kind of semi-tiny, so can hopefully squeeze in quite a bit of them here in between us. And you just wait and see. I know you're kind of like, oh, that was kind of crap. But next year, they're going to be bigger and more beautiful. Like this, let's get some more spruce and poplars. Not spruce. But I think like one this, this is grown up is going to be pretty much like the park we built in last episode. It was this, I think. And this is not even fully grown. And yes, okay, so, so the stuff we, we build, is that the thing? Nah. There was a building which we placed, which I was like, oh, that's some crappy trees. Hmm, which was that? Maybe it's just was the, like the, the cemetery. And I think the trees, they do grow up over time, which is, which is excellent for us. I wish you could put down them like fully grown as they are, but I don't, that's that's not a thing yet. Okay, so that is done. Now, let's take this six lane road, expand upon that, and we're going to have a little bit of low residential zones over here. So there's 90. Oh, you know what we could do? What, what, Kiralis? We could get those paths so people can be passing all the way from that street. The same goes... I know there's a lot of thumb down from those people. I'm like, why? This is a perfect idea. There we go. Okay, so maybe just getting a little crossroad here as well. So they don't jaywalk across the street. And one more over here. So that goes all the way across here. I mean, it's a thing. And now we just need to delete those guys. So we have perfect 
grids all over the place. This will be deleted. And that should be it. This is not shabby looking. The only thing I dislike about the city so far is all the like unfinished roads all over the place. But I kind of have future planning that. So it's better to have the space and kind of draw, draw a road than demolish tons of houses in the future to build a road. But there is bends. The trees are green. Just envision when this has grown, fully grown up. It's going to be beautiful. Is anybody using my paths? Use my paths, please. Ooh, can I do? Ooh, can I do? Don't do? No. Let's get bushes. Single tree. Oh, I can. Can I squeeze in? And one here. And maybe one here. And maybe one here. Okay, look at this. Those guys have high rent complain. Those guys high rent as well. Okay, we might lower the rent. But other than that, we don't really have enough. Well, enough. We don't have much problems. Okay, those are kind of been being demolished, right? Well, not really, but it's abandoned. So demolish that. What are you guys thinking about this? Like, it is slow progress, but it's getting there. We got some education. Oh, one thing I want to check. How are we doing in a fire? Ooh, okay, fire would be a thing. Or not a fire, but fire department or fire brigade. So let's maybe put down one here. That's going to cover those guys. And we would need one here in the far end as well. Don't want to destroy the park or anything, but just behind the rails over here. Or in front. And how about now? Okay, so everybody should be, should be having coverage with that. How about the police? The popo would be needed one over here as well. Maybe even building like one of those build police stations next episode because we do have quite a bit of points. Uh, healthcare. Healthcare is... Well, that's death care also. <laughs> same, same, a little bit different. We might need one here in the far end, like a little clinic. Is this open, by the way? No, you know what? If we open that, will that contain the needs of those people? Hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Small geniuses, everything's fixed besides our <laughs> our monthly income. But almost eighteen thousand people living in the city. Uh, we, oh, oh, oh. we need specialized industry, and we need more industry, and that's going to be moved. So for the next episode, you guys decide: do we place it over here, or do we place it here in the far end? But it's slow progress in the city of Kiralsville. Yeah, I'm thinking. Kiralsville, say goodbye, guys. We're going to be fluffing about. Hmm. Man, I wish there were small train stations. Why? Did, like, hmm. I think they had like a small one in CS1. Just one which kind of took, or well, maybe in bit, maybe that was on assets. Like, there's, I had so many stuff from the workshop, so I'm not really sure, but it was what. But yeah, that would be nice having here. And that would cater to all those lower suggestion people and even the commercial zone over here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kick those people. Uh, yeah, I, I will, I will, I will kind of ev evict them. I'm going to have c commercial zones here instead. Because looking at the zoning, it's kind of nicely zoned out. So we're going to have a little bit of blue stretch over here. So all those people living in those buildings over here, they can just go across the street and shop over here. Like, uh, like this, for example. But I think what we'll have, we will have a train station here. Somehow. I will try to squeeze that in. Oh, it's so nice. And how are we doing on the collage? Collage 252. It has just opened. Efficiency 117%. We just need a little bus stop over here so people can reach it easily. And we should be fine. You're not in a hurry. It's gonna come. It comes when it comes, I guess. Is that not zoned out? That is medium row housing. Like this. Hmm, some, hopefully somebody moves in. This as well. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It is slow progress, but it's great progress. Look at us, go! There's bendy roads and progress is being made from each episode. Thank you so much. Hit the like button, leave a comment. And I'm going to see you guys in a day or two with more City Skylands. And I'm also terribly sorry about my tired voice in my head. I mean... All over the place today, but I haven't slept for like two days because of my... I'm not saying stupid dog, but, but, uh, but yeah, painful dog. Bye.